Welcome to the latest Fowler Welsh Industry Insight, where we ask experts about trends and issues affecting retail, food production and logistics. My name is Mark Varney, I'm Director of Network Development at Fair Share. Uh, and we're a, a national redistribution charity. We take surplus food, food that's in date, fit for consumption, great quality food that would otherwise be thrown away normally. And we take that from the food industry and we redistribute it to over 5,000 charities and community groups across the country. So we established the partnership with Fallow Welsh last year, really launched in October of 2016, and it's an amazing service that means if any of the suppliers who really don't want food waste to occur, but if they do have any surpluses that they can't sell, they're able to add that to the, the delivery um, through Fowler Welsh, and then Fowler Welsh will make sure that gets to, to, to fair share. So it provides a really cost-effective, straightforward, and easy-to-access service for, um, for manufacturers to get the food that they can't sell to where it's needed most. No food business wants the food they've worked hard to produce to go to waste. What this scheme that we're running in partnership with Fowler Welsh really enables, it makes it really easy for that food business, if they do have any surpluses, to provide it cost effectively and simply as part of their everyday routine so we can get it to the organisations that need it most. That we have with Fowler Welsh and many other industry partners, we're currently redistributing about 12,000 tonnes of food, and which is great and that's enough for 26 million meals. But there are at least 270,000 tonnes of, of food that's thrown away by the food industry each year. And we'd love to grow the amount we're redistributing to well over, you know, towards 100,000 tonnes in order to be able to provide many more meals to the organisations that support vulnerable people. So that's a, a luncheon club for the elderly, a, a breakfast club for children, um, a homeless shelter, a drug rehabilitation centre, all sorts of places, mainly where, where food is served. So our goal is to, to dramatically grow that volume of food away from waste and into, into those organisations that, that support people. In the six months since we launched this scheme, we've developed 14 new partnerships with fantastic manufacturing organisations, including Addo Foods, Dairy Crest and Nature's Way. And between those 14, we've received enough food for over half a million meals, which we've been able to redistribute to the frontline community organisations that we support. The benefits of this scheme is it helps us provide a regular service of food to the frontline organisations we support. And for those organisations, most of whom provide a hot meal, um, whether it's a luncheon club for the elderly, a breakfast club for children, actually the, the food is, the, is the, the driver, the footfall driver for those organisations to get people to come and visit. And it's not just the food, but it's also the access to services, advice and support that most of those organisations provide which really help address the reasons why that individual is vulnerable. So, so the provision of this food really helps those organisations to save money, which they can then reinvest into their core services at a time where budgets are really restrained. It makes a massive, massive difference. Reducing food waste is of increasing importance to many food businesses up and down the country, and that real need for easy transport getting food away from the production site to where it's needed is a really important part of the solution. It's environmentally beneficial using existing road miles in most instances and makes a massive social contribution to the communities in, in which many of those businesses operate. We really welcome Fowler Welsh's leadership in this area and we really call on the whole of the logistics sector to find out more about Fair Share, look at what Fowler Welsh are doing and contact us because you can really make a massive difference to reducing food waste and supporting organisations that feed people. Hi, my name is Phil Morgan, I'm the Supply Chain Manager for the Addo Food Group and we're based out of Poole in Dorset. The Addo and uh, Fair Share have been working together since 2016 on a number of initiatives and this has come to the forefront and we're looking to actually roll this out to our other bakeries across the group in the next couple of months. In the first week we actually supplied 12 pallets of stock including pies, uh, slices and so forth which equated to 2,500 meals and that was just in the first week. Since then we've actually supplied 45,000 meals 
across the board. Uh, the Adult Food Group is always keen to reduce our carbon footprint uh, and we needed to get involved with something like this to create a, a, an outlet for our waste going to good causes. So the pool site works in partnership with Fowler Welsh on most of our transport. So when we engage with this uh, fair share initiative, it, it makes it easier for us to move stock off the dispatch bay. So by, by doing that, we create space within the, the dispatch area and it works very well with Fowler Welsh shunting vehicles that go from the pool site down into Hillsey and Portsmouth. So all in all, a great partnership for everybody involved. As one of the largest food suppliers in the UK, uh, it's important for us to make sure that we support the local communities and by using Fair Share we are confident that that is happening on a, a daily basis. It gives us great pleasure knowing that the food that we supplied from our waste is actually going to good causes all across the country, knowing that it supplies the, the local communities where you've got underprivileged people and they get a good meal on the table. So it's great news for us. Yes, absolutely. You know, we're looking to uh, roll it across all the sites of the Adder Food Group. We've engaged with two or three sites already, but we've got five or six sites that we want to sort of get on board with this uh, because we believe it's, it's the right way forward to create the uh, right environment for the underprivileged.